Technology, the nine. Oh, welcome back. TMZ doing a deep dive into the growing danger of celebrity stalking. The new series, TMZ investigates, obsessed and dangerous. Hollywood stalker crisis premieres tonight. TMZ's Harvey Levin joins us now live with more. Harvey, always good to see you. How are you? I'm good, Marielle. How are you doing? Doing great. A lot of people might assume that stalking is just kind of a part of what you get with Hollywood, but they don't realize how much it's increased and also how truly dangerous it is. We're not just talking about, you know, fans that are sending you letters. This goes far beyond that. Yeah, I think you just nailed it. That's so true. Um, look, over the weekend, Taylor Swift had a stalker come to her doorstep. This was, by our count, uh, the 16th stalker that she's had. Um, you will hear Taylor Swift tonight talk about the fact that she has wound dressing uh, in her home. And she has that because a number of these stalkers has co have come to her house armed and she's afraid she's going to get shot and she may need the wound dressing uh, to protect and survive. And so that's how bad this has gotten. The laws don't protect celebrities. They just don't. Um, wow. Jail is a revolving door where somebody may be in there for three days. We found cases where the police have even refused to um, serve restraining orders on stalkers because they think it's too dangerous. So the celebrities are left to their own devices, and you're going to hear from them tonight. Um, and you're also going to hear how this turns deadly. It's incredible that we get to hear from them in, in their own words and they're really you know putting their faces to something like this can you explain because I, I wonder if some people don't realize maybe we're not even talking about fans you know there is a mental health component here obviously because you don't think about fans and necessarily wanting to hurt someone but if you have Taylor Swift honestly afraid for her life that goes far and beyond someone who's just super obsessed because they love her music. Uh, you, you know, again, you are so right. Um, you know, there's almost like this, um, uh, if you think of this as a continuum, that there are, you know, fans who love these celebrities and, and they may be obsessed with them, but they're not dangerous. At a point, as you go further on this continuum, um, that's when they become stalkers, where they think they have a relationship uh, with these yeah. celebrities, where they think the celebrities are talking to them, and where they want to avenge these celebrities for not reaching out back to them. And yeah. that's where that line needs to be drawn, and the law just doesn't do it. I did want to talk a little bit about any anti-stalker legislation. It would seem that if any place had tough laws it would be a place like california where are they falling short in your opinion yeah I, well i mean just to arrest a stalker is tough and when they get arrested they serve for a couple of days and they're back out on the streets and so um and then they're probably more agitated because of it um so the laws don't have teeth number one mm. and number two you know we found these cases where the police have refused to even serve restraining orders because they say it's too dangerous for the officers. If it's too dangerous for the wow. officers, think about the celebrity, right? Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Harvey, thank you so much. This TMZ investigates obsessed and dangerous Hollywood stalker crisis airs tonight at 9 p.m. right here on Fox. We look forward to watching it. Thanks, Harvey. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the time.